Some of you, if you're unlucky, a lot of you may be familiar with Dinesh D'Souza. Dinesh D'Souza is somebody who made an attempt at being intellectual in the 1980s and 1990s when that was allowed in the Republican Party, when they were playing, playing dress-up as smart people, uh, and saw where the party was headed, and he went right there with them. Oh, you know, Obama's birth certificate, Hillary's emails. He makes these documentaries that I'm sure are right-wing tech types who, you know, big tech scary to the right, except for when they fund everything they do. He makes these 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 ridiculous documentaries that are so full of crap. Um, nobody pays any attention to them except for people in the far right. It's his grift. He makes money. Yeah, we know. One time when he was trying to argue about history and say, oh, racists in the South were Democrats in the past. You know, historian Kevin Cruz sat there, took him apart and pointed out, well, that's really brilliant. It's because the Democrats were what the Republican Party is today. And when the Republican Party stood up against civil rights, um, all of the people like Strom Thurmond and Jesse Helms, who were racist, then switched parties. That was too complicated for Dinesh. Uh, Dinesh likes going after people personally and, and their looks. And yeah, he probably shouldn't be doing that. A felon who... Straw donated money to a friend of his illegally. Um, <laughs> but my favorite part is he was the, the president of a Christian college, a Christian college, um, and showed up to an event, showed up to like an event they held with this woman, introduced her. Oh, look, here's my wife. She's wonderful. And it was all great, except she wasn't his wife. He brought a woman who wasn't his wife to an informal event with people he worked for and with and introduced her as such. That's Dinesh D'Souza. He was fired from that. Even the Christian university couldn't handle that one. So he has this movie out now called, like, I don't know, I'm a mule, I'm a drug mule, or 2,000 mules, or something stupid about how the, the election was supposedly stolen. Again, safest election we've ever had, according to the cybersecurity expert under Donald Trump. Uh, 60 different investigations. They have found no widespread voter fraud. The only people we can find who committed voter fraud so far are Mark Meadows, uh, Glenn Youngkin, the governor of Virginia's son, uh, and other Republicans. <laughs> and there's not even that many of those, but they're all Republicans. Um, and so he, the, this film, they, de they debuted it <laughs> at the wonderful Mara Bedbug Lago the other, you know, a week ago when, when Laura Logan decided to show up with her inflatable self and Kyle Rittenhouse showed up carrying a piece. We did a, we did a video on that already if you want to watch. Um, but the funny thing is Newsmax is actually refusing to air it. Newsmax, Newsmax, guys, like Newsmax is a level crazier than Fox, right? Like if new, if Fox were Ted Cruz, Newsmax would be the Zodiac. Oh, wait, no, that's not right. They're the same. OK, you get the point. So Newsmax has refused to. They've said that this video, that this thing is too full of shit. I'm wondering if, you know, after some of the attacks on Voting machines, these guys were all sued. OAN itself was forced to come on and say, there's no evidence of voter fraud after the election. Newsmax was forced to go on and retract lies. And I think they're scared they're going to get sued again if they put Dinesh D'Souza's bullshit out there. And they probably will because they cost these voting co machine companies. I'm not saying I have huge sympathy for a lot of them that are run by Republicans, but they cost them, they, they defamed them, they lied about them, and they cost them a lot of money. So now Dinesh D'Souza is doing what every Republican does, he's crying, and I'm sure he thinks it's Gmail, not sending his stuff to spam like Ronnie Jackson, or it's a shadow ban because there's clouds out in front of the sun, or like, I don't know, what 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 what's his grievance is, that the, the conspiracy, the Masons, you know, maybe he saw a more recent uh, Doctor Strange movie, and he thinks the Illuminati is getting together again, but this time I talk about Dinesh D'Souza. He's not well. Um, I just thought it was funny that, you know, we're at a point now where Newsmax refuses to show this. I'm not sure if Fox News has yet, but these guys, they're scared of lawsuits. Um, and, you know, that says something. It says, first of all, we should be suing them more for defaming us. But it also reminds you that, that you know, First Amendment extremism exists. You don't have the right to, to make up any lie or encourage violence. And these guys do it all the time. And we don't sue them and pursue them and go after them for it. And maybe we should take a look at how Canada and the United Kingdom and Germany handle these kinds of things. Germany, you're not even allowed to show Nazi symbols. They still have a democracy. They've learned from the past what disinformation, mass lies, and propaganda can do to a population. Maybe we should take their cues on this. We need to revisit some of this because a guy yelling something crazy on the corner can maybe convince three people. A guy with millions of followers on the internet boosted by lunatics like Peter Thiel can reach millions, tens of millions of people. 
And democracies can't run if we don't have honest information. The Dinesh D'Souza's need to be exposed for who they are. But let's be glad for now, Newsmax at least, because of probably actions taken by these companies, is refusing to show his, his stupid video. Again, they're looking at it and they're saying, you, Dinesh D'Souza, are too f***ing crazy for us to show your garbage on our screens, on our station. And that in and of itself, well, at least it's some good news for today. Thank you.